The next part of the safety clamital phase is the analyze phase. So, using a different survey from the one I was using before, which has data, you can see here that I've had 231 responses to my survey. If I then click on the, the analyze link, I'll then presented with the following. On the left hand side, I have three main reports, the SCT report, Appendix A, and Appendix B. The SCT report is the main report for your safety climate tool. This SCT report takes all your information and analyzes this information, identifying those areas that are performing well and those areas that perhaps need improvement. The first thing we see is the overall response to the safety climate tool. In here we have each of the eight factors from organizational commitment to, to accident near misreporting. We can see here for this organization that it's pulled out the three top areas that are performing well within the organization in terms of health and safety trust and peer group attitude. We we'll also see though that organizational commitment appears to be an issue for this organization as well as health and safety orientated behaviors. All analysis for the safety climate tool is based on this traffic light system. Red indicates areas of concern, amber indicates areas of neutrality, and green indicates areas that are perceived to be good. Also included your safety climate tool results is a benchmark for each of the individual factors. This benchmark is based on the all industry step for the safety climate tool. If you just scroll down to organizational commitment, what we see next is a breakdown of the eight factors for your organization by the individual statements for that factor. So for example, organizational commitment we know was an area that was pulled out as being an area of concern for this organization. We can see that productivity is usually seen as more important than health and safety is a real concern for this organization. With 87% unfavorable, i.e. agreeing that productivity is actually much more important. The system also gives us a breakdown of favorable responses by roles. What this indicates that actually supervisors for this organization are actually fairly positive, whereas the vast majority of other employees are pretty much similar in their responses. The system also provides a benchmark for each of the eight factors based on the all industry data set. We can see here that the organization scored 2.71, whereas the all industry average is 3.64, indicating our result is low for this organization. You have this for each of the eight factors, and then towards the end of your SCT report, you have a next step section. What this next step section provides you is a list of those areas that are in need of improvement within your organization. Included are hints and tips on how to improve these areas. These hints and tips aren't meant to be used prescriptively, but are more conversation points for you and your staff to engage with and start the ball rolling on your safety culture improvement program. Should you require additional support, beyond the safety climate tool, HSC has a team of expert consultants that can assist your organization in improving the safety culture across your organization. The second report is the Appendix A, which is your demographics. What this provides you is a list of where the responses have come from in your organization. So for example here, we can actually see that most responses have come from Department 2. The next report is Appendix B, the open questions. The tool itself does not do any analysis on the open questions, but provides you a list of responses to your open questions. If you do need further assistance with this, do contact HSE's expert consultant team who can assist you with this analysis. As well as the reports, you also have the tables and charts section. The tables and charts section is when we start to drill down into the data, providing us with visual outputs that we can then use in presentations or feeding back to staff. The first section we can look at is the demographics. So for example, if we chose department, and we click the chart for department, it just gives us a nice visual representation as to where our responses have come from. So, for example, we can see here that it, the most of the responses have come predominantly from department 2. Moving beyond the demographics, we can also see the summary of favorable responses by role. And this chart itself can be very powerful for organizations as it's a way of being able to get an overview of the different perceptions across the different roles within the organization. So for this organization, in the dark blue line, what we can see is that directors seem to be very optimistic about how health and safety is within the organization. Compare this with the admin support, who are somewhat less favorable in their responses across each of the eight factors. What's key with this chart is that we can see the pattern results is similar across the roles, suggesting at least a consistency, although, albeit 
slightly different varying levels of favourability across the eight factors. We're then able to drill down into the results by individual factors. So for example if you knew factor 1 was an area that you wanted to pull out and highlight to staff. You can download this chart which is the one you'll see in the auto report. This chart can be downloaded in the top left as can any of the charts or tables in this section and it will download as a JPEG which you could then put into a presentation or perhaps onto a poster to feed back the results to staff. The next phase is when we start to filter our data. So, if we're staying with factor 1 for example, we then see the breakdown by the by the different demographics that we've used. So, for example, if we wanted to look at factor 1 by So the next phase we look at is the different factors by the demographics. This is where we start to filter our data. So the next part we look at is where we start to filter our data by our demographics. So again, sticking with factor 1, if we just scroll down to factor 1 and filter this by department, what we'll get is the results for the individual departments for factor 1. So as we can see here, we can see the results across the different departments for organisational commitment. This can be really interesting, as what we can actually see is Department 8, for example, actually has a more favourable result than the overall, and could be an area that you might want to investigate further and try to understand why they're more favourable than perhaps the other departments. You also then have the ability to look at the individual questions by role. So for example, if we wanted to look at, say, productivity is more important than health and safety, we can actually take that specific question out and see responses by roles. As we can see for this organisation, and again this is a made up organisation, predominantly everyone is very unfavourable to this result, that productivity in this organisation is key over health and safety. The final area we have is the ability to download the open questions as a JPEG, should you wish to. However, you may wish to start to filter your data in more detail. At the very bottom of the screen we have a filters tab. This is where we can add filters to our analysis to start to tailor it say perhaps to a specific department or region or work type across the organisation. So for example if we add the filter here for department 2 and apply the changes anything that I have on the screen will be filtered by department 2. So for example if I went back to our SCT report the system would then generate a filtered version of this report specific to department 2. As you can see here, it now says that we have a filter department, department 2. This report is now specific to department 2 and you may find slight changes or variations on the results specific to that department. As you'll notice in the most unfavourable factors that actually organisational commitment is still there, but now we see that health and safety trust and engagement in health and safety are the most unfavourable areas within this department. So if you are looking for action planning, you may look to filter your SCT reports for the different departments for managers to go away and act on their results. What's key with your SCT report is it's only the start of the journey to understand your organization's safety culture. It is in the what you do next moving forwards phase where you start to develop your action plans, where you start to focus down and drill down into that data to ultimately get the most out of your safety climate tool survey.